Hi, my name is Mark and I'm a keen runner and I completed my first half marathon in 2007, the Great North Run, and recently in 2020, completed my 85th half marathon and my goal is to reach 100 half marathons very soon. So I suffered a traumatic brain injury in August 2012 whilst on holiday with my beautiful wife in the lovely island of Fuerteventura. Uh, we were enjoying a quiet meal in a tapas bar and uh, I went to the gents and blacked out. I have absolutely no recollection of what happened until I woke up the following morning with an extremely sore head. So after a week we returned home to Northampton, our hometown, and uh, went to hospital uh, after a scan was rushed to John Radcliffe in Oxford uh, to learn that I'd fractured my skull, had two bleeds on my brain and uh, was recommended to have a craniotomy and then was told the devastating news that over 95% of people don't survive an accident like I've been involved in. I decided not to go ahead with the craniotomy and was discharged from the hospital's care uh, a few weeks later and told to live my life as normal. However, the long-term effects kicked in, uh, which was affecting my short-term memory, uh, fatigue, anxiety and depression, and uh, I was really, really struggling to cope. Running has given me huge coping techniques in my recovery against all of the uh, long-term effects and being part of communities like Park Run and my running club Northampton Road Runners has really really helped to boost my mental health and give me a great sense of achievement. Uh, exercise helps with your positivity, it helps you to focus, to set your goals and just sometimes to switch off and uh, give yourself that sense of belonging and that sense of achievement. Other than running, uh, my uh, other passions, I run two businesses with my wife Jules uh, we also absolutely love travelling, um, backpacking, uh, weekend breaks and recently we've just published our third book which is called What the Hell Just Happened and it's a story about how we dealt with the after effects of the brain injury and faced adversity head on. Uh, the idea behind the book is to help others to realise that sometimes it's okay not to be okay. So my advice to anybody who's suffered brain injury is to set small achievable goals and, uh, and to reach out if you really, really need support. There's plenty of people out there to talk. And do remember, it is okay not to be okay at some times. So I'm Mark, and thank you so much for listening to my story.